Hello and welcome to 5 at 5 on Sports Today. Novak Djokovic, Grand Slam number 18. And a complete decimation, clinical uh, you know, decimation of Danny Medvedev in three straight sets. Before uh, that, take a look at our sponsor video and I will come back to you with plenty more. Do you want to make a team in your team in your team? And are you playing with children? हमारे साथ खेलोगे हाउस पे खेलो लेजेंड्स के साथ हमें हरा और जीतो डबल कैश लॉग ऑन टू हाउस डॉट कॉम एंड विन रियल कैश वॉट अ प्लेयर सिंपली वॉट अ प्लेयर नोवैक जोकोविच एटीन ग्रैंड स्लैम नाइन्थ ऑस्ट्रेलियन ओपन टाइटल वॉट एन इनक्रेडिबल एथलीट दिस मैन इज जस्ट टेक अ लुक एट दिस टूर्नामेंट इंजरी स्केर People thought he will not be able to complete certain matches, quarterfinal, and then coming back and complete control over Dani Medvedev, who had sort of shown so much promise when he beat uh, Stefano Sisipa, and 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 now Grand Slam number 18. Incredible player, incredible player, Novak Djokovic. Will he go to? Obviously, he will beat Roger Federer's record of the most number of weeks as number one. Will he go on to win more than 20, 33 years, eight months at this point in time? There is every reason to believe that Novak Djokovic will perhaps overtake Roger Federer and Rafa Nadal's record. Uh, will he end up as the highest crossing Grand Slam champion? Will he be the highest ever, the best ever? Look, people will say Roger Federer is perhaps the greatest given his impact on tennis. But you've got to say in terms of tenacity, in terms of all of it combined, in our era, Novak Djokovic is less to none. What an incredible athlete this man is. Unbelievable. Many congratulations, Novak Djokovic. My news point number two, uh, coming from the ISL, you know, two goal uh, loss of, for the Mumbai City FC team. And that means ATK Mohun Bagan FC is just one match away from that coveted spot in the AFC Champions League. Two more matches to go. And if Mohan Bagan uh, gets one more point and or wins one against Hyderabad, they have gotten that particular spot, the AFC Champions League spot. They are five points at the top, 39 to 34, and are sitting pretty. Uh, there was a bit of a slump in Antonio Lopez Habas's team around match number nine. 10, 11, 12, but they came back brilliantly thanks to Roy Krishna, the new signing Marcelino, uh, Lenny Rodriguez, and of course, the back in form David Williams. And it was a completely clinical display against arch rivals SC East Bengal when uh, Roy Krishna netted the first and thereafter uh, that own goal from Thiri and then the two more, one from Javi Hernandez, goal number three, and David Williams, goal number two. Thereafter, the two goal loss of, of Mumbai City FC has put ATK Mohun Bagan in that coveted pole position where they can actually smell the coffee. They can smell a position in the AFC Champions League, something that they really, really want. Last year, they had lost out uh, uh, for that AFC Champions League, but they went on to win the ISL, but they had lost out the AFC Champions League AFC Champions League berth this year. That is something they really, really want and they are very, very close. News point number three, the Indian T20 squad announced against England, uh, Rahul Tevatia making it, uh, Ishan Kishan making it, and of course, Sky, Surya Kumar Yadav. Uh, uh, you know, long time, sort of, a lot of us have been feeling that long-standing favorite, long time we've been feeling he needs to get an opportunity, should have gotten an opportunity perhaps in the Australia series, better late than never. Sky, as we lovingly call him, has made the national team. Ishan Kishan, what an incredible innings yesterday and in the evening he makes the team, 170 plus in the Vijay Hazare trophy and today, Rahul Tevatia blistering 73 of 39 balls and Surya Kumar Yadav 50 of 33 balls, winning that match for Mumbai against Delhi in a canter, Prithvi Shaw getting 100. So three major uh, inclusions, Rahul Tevatia, Ishan Kishan and Surya Kumar Yadav in the Indian team. Now there is a debate about Sanju Samson, Manish Pandey uh, injured. So the, there is a debate about Sanju Samson that uh, should Samson have been given a longer rope 
you know, how many opportunities did he get? Has uh, the selection committee been unfair to Sanju Samson? If you really analyze, you will have to say that Sanju had his chances. I mean, to get to starts in Australia each time and not convert even one. Now, look, there is a lot of competition in India. Sanju Samson will have one more opportunity as captain of the Rajasthan Royals. Will he be able to make the IPL his own and stake another claim? Because clearly the IPL will be a big, big platform. As you can see, a lot of the IPL talent, Ishan Kishan, after a splendid IPL and good domestic performances, has made the team. Surya Kumar Yadav, the same. So Sanju Samson will have that opportunity one more time. But so far, you've got to believe that he has been rather underwhelming for India. Rather underwhelming for India each time he's gotten an opportunity. So you cannot actually blame the selectors for overlooking Sanju Samson. And now, obviously, Rishab Pant back. So two keepers, they've said, Rishab Pant and Ishan Kishan, they have said wicket keepers. Will that mean that they will try one out and KL Rahul will just open with Rohit Sharma at the top? Will that be India's combination? We've got to wait and see. Or will they continue to go with KL Rahul as wicket keeper? But some very, very good inclusions because each of these players deserve a spot in the Indian team. Uh, so interesting, interesting. And uh, news point number four, Andrew McDonald. Uh, Rajasthan Royals have parted ways with Andrew McDonald. Uh, and, and they have now issued a press release also, the Rajasthan Royals. Kumar Sangakara, their team director, they've roped in Trevor Penny as <coughs> assistant coach. And Amul Mazumdar will, will become uh, off-season high-performance batting coach. So now it will be a rather new look Rajasthan Royals with Kumar Sangakara at the helm of affairs. And of course, Sanju Samson as captain. They've got some big ticket signings. They've got some really good players. Josh Butler, Ben Stokes, Jofra Archer. And obviously, they've got Chris Morris after that 16.25 cross splurge for Chris Morris. They've replaced Andrew McDonald. Will that impact their performance in the league? They came close. They should have made it last season in the 2020 edition. Where will they go in this season of the IPL, the Rajasthan Royals? So there is a change in the coaching structure of that particular team. Finally, uh, as far as the Vijay Hazare trophy goes, my own team, Bengal, they've beaten services. Uh, that's a good win. Uh, you know, you've got to say Ishan Kishan was blistering yesterday. Mumbai today beat Delhi. Delhi was reduced to 32 for 6 and thereafter a Himmat Singh 100. Took them to 211, but at no point in time was 211 going to be enough against Mumbai. Prithvi Shaw back in form with 100, uh, you know, for Mumbai in that run chase. Uh, Sriya Shahir got some runs. Yashashi Joyaswal did not, but then Surya Kumar Yadav came and scored a 50 of 33 balls, closing the match out for Mumbai. So uh, the Vijay Hazare Trophy, a lot of these cricketers, as I said, Rahul Tevatiya got a 73. Look out for a lot of India's cricketers. Shikhar Dhawan missing out today, getting run out at the top for Delhi, who did not have a very good outing. So that's what uh, the sporting scenario in the country looks like at the moment, once again celebrating Novak Djokovic, one of the greatest of our era. Teams have started practicing in Ahmedabad. We will start delving into the three pacer, two spinner combine or two pacers, three spinners in Ahmedabad. <coughs> will the ball turn? Will the pink ball behave differently? You've heard Cheteshwar. You will hear from Rohit today as part of the Indian press conference. SG ball, SG pink ball on that Ahmedabad deck. What will it do? Plenty of questions because this is a very, very important test match that is coming up for India and England. If India wins this, you know, and the fourth one once again will be a red ball test match in Ahmedabad where the wicket is expected to favor India. India will have one foot in that world test championship final. So will India win this one? Massive test match, pink ball. England pacers are expected to play a bigger role. I still think the ball will turn. I still think the spinners will have a role to play. The color should not impact uh, India's preparation and uh, obviously the nature of the wicket. But we've got to wait and see. And your destination will be sports today. Do subscribe to the channel. And let me tell you something. Something fantastic will come your way very soon. Tonight or tomorrow. Something you absolutely want to hear, want to listen to, want to see. And to our promise, to our promise to also do every sport with equal seriousness, a Manika Batra interview will also come to you tomorrow. Manika Batra, just like,
two days back has won the national championship and it is important we celebrate Manika Batra and not let that news get drowned in the IPL auction news. We've spoken to Manika Batra, that interview is being edited by Trisha, Ashish and my team and that will soon be put out. Manika, who will soon be going to Doha for uh, Olympic qualification and, and other tournaments, won the national championship and, and it was a very good interview. So watch out for that and something very, very special will soon come your way. So fingers crossed for that. Keep subscribing to Sports Today and support the platform because without your support, we cannot just excel. So support us, subscribe, ring the notification bell and very shortly, watch out for our social media handles for more information as to what is coming your way. Thank you very much for watching.